What is up guys? Welcome to another video. I hope you guys are all doing good. Were you guys out today doing something productive? I hope you guys were. Don't waste the day. Anyway, so we got P. Diddy here. He's apologizing. So let's get straight into it. Have you heard the stories of the P. Diddy Defense Force? Mm. I imagine not. These bugs crawl around the deepest, darkest corners of Twitter constantly trying to fight for the honor of Puff Daddy. These rotten scoundrels aren't paid for their services by P. Diddy to fight his PR battle for him or anything. The only thing they get paid in is a couple of updudes from other inmates of Arkham Asylum that join them on this crusade. The Puff Daddy Patriots have been in full force red alert because a lot of new evidence has come out about just how evil P. Diddy is and has been for years in the music industry. There's overwhelming evidence that has existed for a long time as well as brand new discoveries that have really painted a picture of just how P. Diddy is and has always been. And the Puff Patriots have been trying to deny all of it for him. A lot of them just kind of default to like, oh no, women are lying manipulators. So these bunch of... If you look at the video... Close case. There's not any more explanation which is needed. Just look at the video, that's it. And if you're okay with the fact that somebody's doing that to your sister, your mother, if you're okay with that as a man, then you're not a man. You're not. We're here to protect and to provide, at least until the robots take over. But that's a story for another day. But you can't defend it. You can't. It's, it's, it's crazy that even people would want to defend him right now. Once you see the video, it opens your eyes. You can't, you can't defend a person like that. You can't. And I don't care what Cassie said, it doesn't really matter. I think what you should do as a man is walk away. Learn to walk away. Don't have a temper. Just walk away. Yes, she's shouting. She said a bunch of shit. She cheated. Doesn't matter what she did. Just walk away. Wars are trying to get an innocent man in trouble. And that's... They're not a large number of people that do this, mind you. But having anyone that defends P. Diddy is incomprehensible mm. to me. And now this group of goobers is swallowing a tough pill here because a video came out that not even they can defend. It's surveillance camera footage from 2016 in a hotel where p diddy chases down and then beats his ex cassie obviously i can't show this video but it is brutal it is a disgusting thing to witness and there is no trick photography here that's not a deep faked ai or anything like that it is footage of p diddy mercilessly beating his then girlfriend which corroborates the abuse allegations that have been made against diddy for a long time now p diddy also came forward and issued an apology video today it's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life but sometimes you got to do that i was fucked up i mean i hit rock bottom but i made no excuses my behavior. So there's a saying that when a man is ready to apologize, you should always hear him out. But this is bullshit, bro. It is because I remember he came out with a statement where he was like, these women are liars. Then why are you apologizing if they're liars? It makes no sense. But then again, he's trying to cover, cover his tracks. The thing which I don't understand is that there were so many people around P. Diddy and just, they just enabled this behavior. And I get it, yes, he's a famous hip-hop mogul. P. Diddy has done a lot in his life. He has helped a lot of people and hurt a lot of people. I think he has hurt more people than he has helped. Uh, because if you look at his track record, if you look at what, let's say a Jay-Z, right? Jay-Z has Kanye West under his wing or more Dame Dash, but it's connected to Jay-Z. So Jay-Z has Kanye West, which was or is a billionaire. Then Jay-Z has, is it Rihanna, which is also a billionaire. So he spreads the wealth, right? If you look at P. Diddy, I don't think there's anyone that came from P. Diddy's flavor camp, which became like a billionaire. When that video is inexcusable. 
He hits rock bottom. He hits women. He hits crack pipes. There's nothing this guy won't hit. The way he immediately starts this apology video is so f phony baloney. It's so difficult to reflect on the dark times, but I've got the strength to do that because I'm built different. So I'm going to reflect on the most painful moments of my life. When it comes to strength, I'm like a super saiyan being able to sit down and, and talk about this. Like, and then he goes on about how, like, it's inexcusable, he's not gonna make any excuses. Brother, your whole f career is built around making excuses yeah. for your abusive behavior and all the really f shit you've done. Mm. And you are still constantly doing that. Even if it's not you directly making the excuses, you hire your f team of lawyers to do it for you to keep yourself out of jail. This is a guy that should have been locked up for life a long time ago. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it, I'm disgusted now. Turn yourself in then. <laughs> you take full responsibility for it, you're that disgusted, walk to the nearest police station and turn yourself over. Although I'm not even sure if the police department would- I mean, I mean, he's right. He's right there. Um, yeah. There's a statute of limitations when it comes to this crime, so I don't think that he's gonna be charged for it. Do anything about it they mm -hmm. issued this statement once the video started to go viral they said we are aware of the video that has been circulating online allegedly depicting sean combs assaulting a young woman in los angeles i've said this before and millions of people have said it a million millions of times before me but the word allegedly does so much heavy lifting in this day and age it's crazy like i know why they use it in the legal sense but like we all just watched p diddy Mm. beat Cassie and he himself came forward to confirm that it was him beating Cassie and they still used the word allegedly <laughs> that is like actual Looney Tunes level cartoonish dog shit there it, it, you can just drop that word mm. the video has been circulating online depicting Sean Combs assaulting a young woman like it, 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 there's no gray area here he has confirmed it everyone can see it in the video but whatever we find the images extremely disturbing and difficult to watch, and the office added that it would not be able to take action against Combs. If the conduct depicted occurred in 2016, unfortunately, we would be unable to charge as the conduct would have occurred beyond the timeline where a crime of assault can be prosecuted. As of today, law enforcement has not presented a case related to the attack depicted in the video against Mr. Combs, but we encourage anyone who has been a victim or witness to a crime to report it to law enforcement or reach out to our office for support from our Bureau of Victim Services. Gotta tell you, sports fans, that bureau doesn't sound like it's doing a whole lot of service to the victims if it's going to say like, oh no, your assault? That took place way too long ago. Our hands are tied. We're not doing anything about that. I'd move on. I was watching Star the other day, and he was talking about that he thinks that this is a conspiracy to try to take the blame away from DJ Academics because DJ Academics apparently has also grape charges against him, right? And I was thinking about it, right? And I think that Star is wrong there because first of all, I don't think DJ Academics can influence CNN to release a video like this on Friday. But I do think that Star is correct in that it's some form of conspiracy and they're probably gonna take this video down because I'm saying this, but I'm, I caught on to something that CNN did, right? They released that video on Friday. It caught on, everyone was talking about it. Like, and today, Iran's president's helicopter disappeared, right? And people are reporting that he's probably dead, right? And oh, how can you connect CNN and and what happened to P. Diddy, right? When it comes to the people which run the world, before something big happens, they always have to have some form of diversion. And that's what I think happened on Friday because now everybody is talking about this whole P. Diddy situation. That's what people are looking at compared to the Iranian president and what happened there. Now, we, I'm probably gonna make a video about this going a little more into depth, but I do think that the P. Diddy leaks has something to do with not covering up, but at least making us look the other way so we don't focus on the fact that something happened there. Something very mysterious happened in Iran. And Iran is a big player when it comes to 
I can't even say it, but you guys know what they did when they attacked a certain country, right? Or when they retaliated to a certain country and Iran, uh, I think it's Russia and uh, China, they want to create their own currency right now. So it would have benefit certain people that the Iranian president just disappears because then they have to reconstruct the whole country, right? And then China and Russia loses a huge ally in the Middle East. How is someone going to come forward and be like, look, I got beat by my ex mm. in this hotel and it was a traumatic experience that I've been quiet about for so long out of fear for my life. Is there something we can do about it? And they just say, nope. Now, this isn't Cassie that's approaching them, by the way. Like, this video wasn't released by Cassie or her team, at least not from what I've been able to tell. I get the statute of limitations. Like, I do understand that in certain contexts, but when it comes to, like, assaults, like, like brutally beating women and just all kinds of things, like violent crimes, I would imagine there shouldn't really be an expiratory period there. Like, it's a f***ing loaf of bread, like a Best Buy date that you have to act within this window or else that's the end of it. Now, now it's now it's kaput. He just gets away with it. I think it's super f***ing stupid. Hmm. I went and I sought out professional help. <sighs> now they're going to therapy. They're going to rehab. Oh boy. Leave it in the comment section, guys, if you think that <sighs> therapy helps in situations like this. It's it's just something that a person says. I had to go to therapy, you know, um, I'm a changed man. Um, really? Yeah, I, I, I've stopped taking drugs and I want to change. <laughs> Bro, he is getting it from the internet. This is what I love about the internet. Yes, it's a magnifying glass and sometimes the internet gets it wrong. There are certain people which have been crucified for no reason. And I'm like, okay. But you got to give it to the internet. Like, it is somewhat interesting to just watch a person's crucifixion. I'm starting to tear up now. Yeah, this, this is some heavy stuff here, P. Diddy. This, this is tough. Yeah, would you like a side of french cries with that? Like, what? <laughs> Man, why is he trying to summon the wambulance here? He tries to tell his own little sob story here about how it was so hard for him. Wah, wah, wah. I'm the real victim here, actually. Uh... It was tough for me, too. I highly f doubt he's done any therapy or any rehab or anything, because hmm. he has decades worth of allegations against him for these type of violent, abusive tendencies. And the allegations are backed by mountains of evidence you know what drake should do right now if he wants to come out of exile i think that he should just release footage of when he was also abused because apparently drake was abused by p diddy uh he broke his arm or something so he should come out with that video as well and just be like oh maybe even sue p diddy to make some to make some moolah right continue all the way to present day. So I highly doubt at any point in his life he's ever sought professional help for him being a violent maniac. Had to ask God for his mercy and grace. I'm never gonna question God, because I don't know. He works in mysterious ways. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Maybe he's doing this to P. Diddy right now so he can show everybody how powerful he is. Maybe that's what he's doing. But one thing that I do not understand is why would you even allow it? Why? Why would you allow Cassie to go through that? Like, why would you allow that? But then again, I can flip the argument and say if it wasn't for P. Diddy, Cassie wouldn't be where she is right now. If it wasn't for all of the things that he, he did, wouldn't be able to reflect on his situation. So, and if it wasn't for P. Diddy doing all of this crap, I probably wouldn't have as much content because I'm releasing a lot of videos when it comes to P. Diddy. Oh, sorry. 
but I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. It's so weird if he's that remorseful about the situation, why he didn't apologize back in 2016, mm. why he tried to bury it to the best of his ability and deny all of the allegations and try and paint all of his accusers in the worst possible light to make it seem like they were untrustworthy and lying about the whole thing. It's so weird how all of a sudden now that the video is out there and it's irrefutable proof of all of these allegations made against him that all of a sudden now he's got this real heavy burden on mm. his shoulders and it's so disgusting and he's truly sorry for it. He's very apologetic. It's so odd that, like, now he's really apologetic about it, now that he's been caught. Huh. It almost seems really disingenuous to me. But anyway, P. Diddy is one of the most well-documented monsters in the music industry, and it is shocking that he still is not in prison. But with more and more evidence constantly coming to light about this guy, I'm optimistic that eventually justice will be served here. But uh, anyway, just wanted to give you a little update to what's going on with P. Diddy here. Uh, the apology video, if I was to put that on the YouTuber apology tier list, that would be a strong F. Terrible. Absolutely <laughs> atrocious. That's about it. See ya. Oh my god. Oh my god. You gotta give it to Penguin Zero. Um, my opinion on the apology is... <sighs> I'm divided. I am. Because... The Christian in me is... Like, it's crazy to say this, but you can always come home. That's, that, is the, that is what I love about Christianity, that there's forgiveness and God is going to be behind you. And you rather have God's cloak than the other guys. But, the man in me says, let's just, let's just exile P. Diddy. Okay, let's see what TikTok thinks about the apology. Diddy's apology video, in my opinion, it really gave not an apology. Mm -hmm. um, in the video, he says, like, my behavior on that video, like, he can't make any excuses. Like, it's inexcusable. Uh, let, imagine someone did what he did to Cassie. Mm -hmm. They did to just one time. And then imagine that because there is proof that they did that to you, they finally are giving out an apology, but they never mention your name and they never actually mention the action that they did. Hello? Mm -hmm. um, it's like he's absolving himself of the actual action because it's a blanket apology. He's not saying what he actually did. He could have even said, I apologize. He's almost trying to save face because he knows like he has really, really screwed up and everybody knows about it, right? And your image is everything. Your image is your currency my hands on Cassie in that video and say he says my behavior in that video is inexcusable mm. it's like he's removing himself from the video this is just my opinion it doesn't feel like he's actually putting himself in the video it's, it's weird the apology was weird to me um and then not for nothing he hit all the apology points that I feel like we all knew he was gonna hit I went to rehab um I seeked out professional um help I went to therapy he said that I I had to ask God for like his mercy and grace. Cass's lawyer has clocked in. Miss Meredith was not playing. And when I say she read Diddy for Filth, baby, I was not playing. Combs' most recent statement is more about himself than the many people he has hurt. When Cassie and multiple other women came forward, he denied everything and suggested that his victims were looking for a payday. And baby, I'm going to insert that here. Do y'all see that message? Don't forget that message that he was only compelled to apologize once his repeated denials were proven false. <laughs> Cause baby, we know that's why he apologized cause you got caught. Just like a two year old. His pathetic desperation, pathetic desperation and no will to be swayed by his disingenuous word. Mm. If I was Diddy, I would be embarrassed. 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 Like I said, that apology was not for Cassie that apology was not for anybody but himself mm. so he could be seen in a lighter light and Kelly Price baby you praying for Diddy is half-assed what are you doing you need to be praying for Cassie okay Peter 100% girl yeah girl okay let's see here. so I'm sure y'all have all seen a hotel footage with me and Cassie and um I was so I'm sure y'all have all seen a hotel footage with me and Cassie and um as horrible as that footage was, 
uh, I would just like to take the opportunity to make this moment about me. Um, true. I was at an all time low. I hit rock bottom. It wasn't even rock bottom. It was Sir Rock Bottom. <laughs> um, that type of behavior is disgusting. I'm disgusted. Oh my that abusive God. behavior that I showed on the video should have never taken place, especially on camera. You know, those are the types of things that should only take place behind closed doors. But now that it's in the public eye for all of y'all to see in 4K, I would like to say that I'm truly sorry. Every step I take, every move I make, every single day, and every time I pray, it's all gonna be geared towards me being a better Sean, Puff Daddy Combs. Can't stop, won't stop. Let's talk about Diddy's apology because I have been a victim of DV oh. before. And my abuser, to my face, didn't directly apologize. Mm. He indirectly apologized. Meaning he said he was sorry for a lot of things that he's done in his life that he wished he could take back. At no point did he look at me and say, I'm sorry for what I did to you. I'm sorry for hurting you. I'm sorry I put my hands on you. I'm sorry I knocked you unconscious. I'm sorry for the abuses I left on your body. Mm. Like, at no point did he directly apologize to me. And the situation with Diddy just brought that up so much. I'm very sorry that she had to go through that. I have to say, your partner has to do with how much you feel like you deserve, right? I can take myself as an example. I don't want to take other people. I felt like I didn't deserve the life that I got. You know, I didn't deserve like just being a normal person working a nine to five, just, I don't deserve that, right? So I can either do two things. I can sit there at my nine to five, do what I'm told and just wait until it's all over. Or I could say, okay, uh, what are the others doing which got out of this nine to five hustle okay they did that okay then let me let me try to emulate that let me work on it every day and then plan my escape i'm not saying that everything is great and i'm going to succeed and i'm the best no what i'm saying is like sometimes you have to you as a person have to decide like you know what i don't deserve this i don't i want more i want more for myself you have to make that decision because some I hear people and this is the thing I, I think what 60% of the population are people with a lot of like bad self-confidence they don't really understand their self-worth they, they have no plan no idea that's why governments and corporations can just influence them and program them very easily but then we have people like us which are unprogrammable, right? And this is something which I was thinking about, like, I know this, uh, what, side note, but Terrence Howard uh, was just on the Joe Rogan podcast and they were discussing one times one equals one, right? And he says one times one equals two. Why? Because you're adding something to it. Now, at first glance, you hear that and you'll be like, no, what I've been told, but they told me this in school. And I was like, wait, what is it? What is he talking about? Right. And then I went to watch the whole video and Terrence Howard, that guy's a genius, but he's a black man. So people are not going to look at him like a genius, but he is a genius. And He's maybe about to do something which has never been done in history. He's maybe about to beat Newton and uh, Einstein. But because he's an actor, because he's a black man, people don't take him seriously. And I have to give it to Joe Rogan. You're going to get your flowers because 
no one wanted to listen to him, but you gave him the platform, right? And that's how I view it should be, right? Yes, you can sit in a situation where you complain about your life. Oh, they didn't give me this. That person abused me. Or I wasn't supposed to, I was supposed to get this. I did not get my promotion. I didn't get this. I didn't get this. I didn't get, I never got any of that. I never got any of that. And I'm so tired of when people are constantly complaining about things like this. Because I'm like, yes, I understand you went through something and you were abused and that was a horrible thing. But we've all gone through things. We've all been treated like shit. We've all grown up in systems which have just been not for us. And some people can take it, take it and take it, take, take it, take it. But I'm one of those people which I look around and I say, okay, I see that we're a hundred, there's a hundred of us and there's only one of him. Shouldn't we just take the whip away from him? But I, that's the thing, I don't get it. How can you sit there and be abused and be abused and be abused? I go back to that. Cassie is brave, amazing. She got away from Diddy, took her 10 years. But it says something about her as a person that it took you 10 years. Is it either your self-confidence, your self-worth or something? T t taking you 10 years to sit in that abuse. And it's happening right now. It's not, it's not only Cassie. We're in an abusive relationship with the social media platforms. We're in an abusive relationship with our government. And we're in an abusive relationship with everything around. Because everything right now is just there to milk money from us. Milk money from us. So I say that to say this like, yes, I get victims are victims. And... You need the time to process what you've gone through. Oh, I went through a war. This happened to me when I was younger. This was horrible. Yes, all those things are horrible. Yes, all of those things were horrible. And you didn't deserve it as a person. No one deserves being abused. But at the end of the day, you have to look at yourself and say, what am I worth? What do I deserve? Because the people which ask for more, get more. Hey, the Memphis Service, listen, here's an, an introspective look at the P. Diddy apology that, that came out today, okay? Here's something for us all to consider. The one thing we don't want to happen when it comes to grace is we never want grace to have to call for backup. Listen, here's what happens. When grace has been giving you time, when grace has been, you have been covered, you haven't been exposed, mm. you had time to fix it. We're all on our journeys. We all got stuff we, we're working out. We're working through. We ain't there yet. We, we have grace. When you have grace in that thing and grace now has to call for backup, here's what grace does. Grace calls on consequences. And listen, if you know anything about consequences, you have no control of A, when the consequence is going to show up, mm. and B, you have no control over what your consequences will be.